I absolutely don't believe in perfection. I don't believe it exists and I don't believe it's necessarily interesting. I put myself under a lot of pressure in the past, too skinny or too fat, but also in terms of intellectual pursuits or career pursuits. And I'm glad I did that because it's so far it's, it's quite fulfilling and rewarding when you do achieve what you want to. At the same time, I think I've come recently to realize it's a, quite a destructive way to live life. This painting by Leonardo da Vinci is one of my favorites and um, perhaps wouldn't be if it was finished, ironically. The promise in the unfinished quality of it, the promise in it being imperfect, that it's got potential to change and it's got potential to, to see it as a moment in time that never quite reached its end. When you see Federer so absolutely committed to that moment like they're not thinking about anything else and then jumping up into this like absolutely perfect pose to hit the ball there's real perfection in that commitment to the moment in terms of fashion and my experiences working with photographers uh, Irving Penn comes to mind he kept making me make such tiny 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 alterations and I remember thinking it felt a bit silly like there was like it was so kind of particular and then he said, all right, we've got it. And I went afterwards and saw the contact sheet they printed out. And the last two just absolutely nailed it. And there was just a magic that happened. I'm so young there, huh? Misgivings about a lot, not all, but a lot of advertising in, in a broader sense is that it's, it's obviously set up basically to create a gulf between people, the consumer, the person who's looking at the image, and what they're trying to attain. I think it potentially creates that mental dialogue for a lot of people where you're not enough as you are. You're not enough until you have that or until you look like that. Most things in my house are kind of got something a little bit off or broken about them. The doors in my apartment, for example, I had rescued from the building and left kind of in their fragmented layered painting of that suggests the different kind of years and suggests time. I think the continuing thread between all those examples is potentially its authenticity. It's a kind of a combination of authenticity and being present, which maybe is the same thing. But also Oscar Wilde had a great quote about the necessity of utopia as this kind of island that humanity is always trying to sail towards and it drives change but as long as we know we'll never reach it then it's okay because we can have peace with the journey to get there and hopefully enjoy the journey but if you did reach it it would be really terrible because then <laughs> then where would you go you know? um, and life would be really static and boring. Hyundai.